Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to hold your bow and your violin. Alright, I'm going to set my violin down to the side. Now, the first, the main big one, is how you hold your bow and then your violin. Okay, the bow, the parts of the bow is called the tip, right here. The tip is connected to the horsehair here. You never want to touch the horsehair, that's bad. You get oils on the horsehair. And then the horsehairs will start breaking down in themselves. You have the tip over here, the horsehair here, and then the frog. You have the stick of the bow on top. You have your finger grip here. And then at the very end, you have your screw. Now, where you want to hold your bow, there's a bunch of different ways of holding your bow. But the way I was taught and is right here on your bow, where your frog is, right here. This little U-shape, right here. You see that little bump right here? You want to put your thumb right in that little bow shape, right here. And when you hold it, make sure you keep your thumb bent and curved. You don't want your thumb like this. That's very bad. I catch myself doing that sometimes. You don't want that to happen. You want your thumb to have a bent shape. You can put your pinky, your fingers on the stick like this. Kind of like if you shake your hand like this. You have to come over your shoulder, have your bow in front of you, and you let your hand plop on the stick. Just kind of like this. Let it go on and kind of grab it. And then you pull your hand while it's real nice and relaxed. Make sure your wrist is straight with your arm and your elbow. Everything's straight here. You put your thumb right there on the end of the frog. You put your index finger right on top of this black piece here. You make sure it's curved. You put your second finger right here, right on the stick, also making sure it's curved. Your third finger right here. Have it curved, and then your pinky on the very end. And what my teacher taught me is curvy pinky. So you always want to make sure that pinky's curved as well. So you'd, you'd hold your bow like this. This is something you need to practice and you need to work on. Once you have it ingrained, and you, it's easier to play songs fast, and you have control of your bow completely. Okay, now we're gonna hold the hold the violin and see how to hold it. What I have on your violin when you get your violin will look just like this. My violin's a little different than yours. Every violin is different. But you notice the different here. Actually, I'll go over the parts of it with you. At the very top here. It's called a scroll. It kind of curls like this, so it's kind of fairly easy to remember. You have the scroll, the tuning box, the tuning pegs, the strings, the black part, this whole black part right here, called the fingerboard. You have this part of violin called the neck. You have everything back here, here, called the body. You have these little funny things that look like a shape, a letter. It's called an F hole. Hole looks like an F. You have a bridge here that keeps your strings from hitting the bottom of your body here. You have the tail. The tail connects to the tailpiece here in your chin rest, as well as fine tuners. Now you want your chin, preferably, to sit right about here on your chin rest. It's right here. You also want your face to be looking at your chin rest. Now, you can have your violin way back here, but it's hard to play that way. So I bring my violin up a little bit. So you have, instead of having your violin straight like this, and that, this is going to be my body here, this arm, this is going to be my violin. Instead of having your violin straight with your body, kind of tilt your violin off just a little bit to have a little triangle kind of shape. I, I have a shoulder rest. You can put this on your violin as well, but just make sure you have the curve and the shoulder rest in the right spot. You notice my little curve in my shoulder rest is on this side of the violin. You always want to make sure it's that way because it's the other way, it'll just feel real awkward. Alright, so you would hold the violin this way. You can when you start out, you want your fingers like this. It's called stippling. And 
On the body, there's a black ring usually on most of the violins. They go all around the violin. You can put your fingers on there, and you can keep your fingers curved like this, like a C shape, C shape, excuse me, and do the stippling on it that way, and hold your violin this way. When you start out, you would do different variations of rhythms, and you would play it on your open strings. And now let's get your bow. Now remember how to hold your bow. I'm not going to go over it again, again with you. You can go back to the beginning and look at it. But make sure you have your, your, your thumb bent and your pinky bent. Now different teachers, I forgot to say this before, some of them will say, put your thumb on top of your frog, well on the bottom of your frog here. You can put it there when you're beginning. It's, fair, it's easier for you to see that your thumb is correct. But you want to eventually get to where you hold it down by the, in the U-shape of the frog. Now you put your bow right between your bridge and the end of your frog board here, right in the middle. And what I want you to do is just, what you can do, excuse me, is just play nice, open, long, open strokes. Start from the end of your frog here on your bow and go to the very tip. Go real slow. But that was just a down bow, you can do the up bow as well. But what that helps you to do is keep control of your bow. That is one of the most important things, because if you don't have control of your bow when you're playing, you're not going to be able to play right, because you just simply can't make the bow go the right speed where you don't want it. Sometimes you'll get your bow going like this. That's because you're alternating the pressure and the speed you're pulling your bow. Now what I mean by pressure is the down force you push on the bow and the for the speed you pull it on your strings. You want to end up making your bow as smooth as possible. And what you can do to make sure you have nice even bowing strokes is just go on the strings and keep the sound the exact same all the time. Tip and frog alike. Switch, come back down. There's different bowing strokes you can do on it, but I'm not going to tell you this in this video. Just do those different ones. Now, something that might affect your, your plane is your bow. When you get your bow, it'll be like this. Nice and loose, and your hairs will be really loose and kind of falling. There won't be any pressure on, on your strings. And at the end of your bow, the screw here, what you need to do is twist it this way, clockwise. And what that does is tighten your bow. And you need your bow to have about one centimeter or about your thumb width if you have smaller thumbs take, taking that consideration. But you need about a centimeter from the horse hair and the bottom of your bow so you have that nice pressure. Right, this is just beginning and practice your bow hold and how you hold your violin. Practice your posture as in sitting up straight if you're sitting in a chair and if you're standing make sure your feet are the same width apart as your shoulders and you're in a nice sturdy position. And that's it for this video.